Hello, this is Derek Wilson with CDO Advisors, and in today's short video, I'm going to show you how to use the new Power BI preview feature for anomaly detection. And to do this, I'm going to use the COVID data uh, because as we're all hearing right now, it's spiking in certain areas. So this would be a good one for us to apply anomaly detection and see what it's finding on the trend of COVID cases over the last four months. If you're interested in the Power BI file at the end of the video, I will show you how you can request it. Also, please be sure to like and subscribe my channel. And if there's any other Power BI content that you'd like to see, please add it to the comments below and I will add it to future videos. Let's get started. Okay, so to get started, I've got my base level COVID-19 report that's hooked into the Johns Hopkins data set. I've got data from January 22nd through November 14th. I've cut this bar graph down here to only filter on the last four months of data. Um, that way I can just, you know, as cases have been trending up recently, that's really what I want to look at and kind of see what's going on. Again, this is just for Texas. So what I did is I made a copy of this page to show you how this works. And this is the exact same graph that was on the prior page. I copied it up here and just turned it into a line graph. Uh, again, it's filtered to the last four months. And what I want to do is enable anomaly detection to see really what are the spikes that are out of some type of expected range. So to do that, click on the graph, click on the analytics tab, and then down at the bottom, you should see find anomalies. And I just want to do add. So the first time I add it, you can see it's giving me um, kind of the shadow boxes of, of what the expected range could be. I want to turn my sensitivity up to 90% and apply that. So now you can see I've got more of these little uh, icons that are pointing out different anomalies. So here on September 21st, it expected 5484, but the data actually showed 2177. Uh, so if we just click on Harris County, Again, expected value 698, new cases 14,129. That's a huge spike. Now, here's a smaller one. I had expected 2289, but I actually got 2768. So you can see very quickly you're able to look at a data set, look at the icons that are on there, and quickly see where data anomalies are occurring in the data set that you are looking at. So if I were to actually click on this, it'll bring up the anomalies tab, which gives me a little bit more information. It tells me some information here, and I've got other information down here that I can um, look at. So new cases for Dallas was unusually high, and you can explore how these work. So that's how you get to the anomaly detection and enable it on your reports. Uh, please try it out. Let me know if you have any questions and if you have any success with it. This Power BI file will be available if you sign up on my website. I will send you a link to get to the file and it will automatically update. You can just hit refresh and it'll grab the new data from Johns Hopkins and you can continue to try out the anomaly detection and see what information you can find. Thanks. This is Derek Wilson with CDO Advisors. Please let me know if you have any questions.